He has his own streaming show on live, on DLive, and as well as YouTube, called The Russell Report. I'm very excited to introduce him here. He self-proclaimed Zoomer nationalist. Yeah! May I introduce for you Tyler L. Russell. How's it going, everybody? Woo! Good! Quick little shout out for all my Zoomers in attendance today, yeah. and all these Zoomers that are watching online live. My name is Tyler L. Russell, and I'm a right wing nationalist, and I'm a proud Canadian. Yeah. I run a DLive live stream called The Russell Report, where I talk about news, culture, and politics. I'm honored to stand alongside every single one of you today as we stand united for a prosperous future for all Canadians. Before I begin my speech, I want to lead us all in a Canada First chant. It's a beautiful Wednesday evening here. It's a little bit hot, but it's Canada Day. I want Justin Trudeau to hear us from all the way over the river at Rideau Cottage. I want Sophie to hear us from all the way over at 24 Sussex Drive. I want us to chant so loud that Canadians from the West Coast to the East Coast can hear us fighting for them. Canada first! 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 Yes! Yes! I love it! Cancel culture has had a profound effect on conservatism in the Western world. Since 2016, right-wingers have been systematically targeted by, by the globalist entities and their blue-haired, overweight, low-IQ, social justice warriors. Ooh. Gavin McInnes, Alex Jones, Nicholas Fuentes, Faith Goldie, Patrick Casey, Jada McNeil, Milo Yiannopoulos, and many, many others have found themselves kicked off of various social media platforms, banned from events, slandered, doxxed, and in some cases even violently attacked. I am honored to join this prestigious list of truth seekers that have unequivocally left their mark on the right side of history. I have received death threats, I was doxxed, I was slandered, I was fired from my job, and the radical left attempted to get me expelled from my university. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that is right. I had always known that this day would come. My first cancellation. The first cancellation of many that will happen in my lifetime. It is not only content creators and public figures that are being attacked by the leftist mob. Private citizens that dare to take a stand on issues such as Black Lives Matter or Pride Month find themselves and their family threatened with violence. Canada is supposed to be a free country, a country where you are able to take action and talk about pressing issues that will affect the nation's cohesiveness and the nation's future. This is no longer the case under Trudeau's regime. If the radical left deems you an evil, white supremacist, Nazi fascist, then you are outcasted ostracized, and your reputation is besmirched indefinitely. Nowadays, being called a racist or any of these other obviously false terms is a badge of honor. It means that you are standing up to the insanity that is the globalist Marxist political sphere. These radical leftist globalist thugs hate you, and they simply want to bring upon the death of the West. They hate white people. They hate our law enforcement. They hate the family unit. They hate Christianity. They hate everything that we stand for and will stop at no means to see it burned down to the ground, only to be later replaced by the evils that are globalism and Marxism. It is time that we, as a united people, understand that there is no room for dialogue with these radical globalist thugs. They are terrorists. They are demonic. They are the enemy. I was appalled by the deadly riots that swept across the Western world after the death of George Floyd. Was his death sad? 
Of course it was. Any life lost is a tragedy. However, we should not paint sinners as saints. Order and authority was cast out the window overnight as America and the Western world descended into chaos. Throughout the most intense week of the riots, I posted on my social media about the violent attacks that were taking place. Black Lives Matter and Antifa were beating people in the streets. They were destroying businesses. They were burning churches down to the ground. Their actions fit the definition of domestic terrorism to AT. As an outspoken nationalist, I simply couldn't sit idly by as the truth about these events were obscured by the fake news media and the 20-year-old Ramona Flowers wannabes that parroted the anti-white, anti-cop, anti-Western globalist narrative. I acknowledge the false pretense perpetuated by Black Lives Matter and Antifa that racist white people, specifically white cops, were targeting minorities in a systemic fashion. Systemic racism is not real. It is a fabrication that globalist Marxist organizations and the fake news media use to stir racial tension that ignites the tribalistic nature that is embedded in each and every single one of us. As Canadians, we accept all races. We stand against real racism. People have come to Canada to be Canadian. Indian, Black, Asian, Italian. It doesn't matter. Western civilization allows anyone to thrive. There is no better place to live in the world than in the great white north. When I first got canceled, for posting my fact-based opinion. A few social justice warrior girls sprung into action. They looked at my Twitter account and my DLive live stream. And as you can imagine, they were quite triggered. They attempted to have me canceled. A few Instagram pages based out of Toronto with 100,000 followers started to post about me. I was doxxed. They started a petition to get me expelled from my university. They got me fired from my job. And although I find all of this quite comical, I understand that for many others, such as mothers, fathers, and business owners, being canceled over telling the truth and calling it how it is can be devastating. No Canadian should live in fear for expressing the truth about the current social and political climate. The academic institutions, university and college, have been infiltrated by Marxists and globalists that push their perverted worldview on naive teenagers and young adults. They advocate for the abolishment of the family unit, the abolishment of Christianity, the abolishment of our borders, and the abolishment of our people. They promote the idea that the West is inherently evil when this could only be further from the truth. Students pay upwards of $40,000 to be indoctrinated by ego-driven, virtue-signaling babysitters that read off of a PowerPoint slideshow. Cancel culture, Marxism, globalism, and the hatred for normalcy stems from these very academic institutions. They feed the hatred that stems from the radical leftists, and they teach them to be even more hateful. In one of my university classes, I had a professor that slandered Maxime Bernier by calling him a white supremacist racist. And he got the students to, to, to parrot that very sentiment back to him in a class discussion. When I spoke up and said that Bernier is not a racist, you could have heard a pin drop in that classroom. Everybody turned to me in shock and horror. Universities do not teach, they tell. They tell students what to believe. They push their own agenda, and this indoctrination flows into the real world. It is more important now than ever that we stand united as true conservatives, nationalists, and patriots to abolish mob rule both socially and politically. It is time that we fight back against the radical globalist left and put Canada first. Canada first. We must protect our own, our culture, our nation, and our future generations.
from the inevitable downfall that will occur if the globalist Marxist agenda is implemented successfully. Our country, our home, is being ravaged by this very global, globalist agenda as we stand here today. Through demographic replacement in my lifetime, old stock Canadians will make up less than 25% of Canada's population. Mass immigration combined with our extremely low birth rates will be the death of the West. Combine this with the growing support for communism, Marxism, and globalism, and Canada as we know it will cease to exist. Marxism and globalism will strip away our freedoms and what it means to be Canadian. Can the Canadian people will fade out of existence. The globalist politicians from the NDP, the Liberals, the Green Party, and the Conservative Party of Canada do not care about your future. They care about votes. They bicker about the economy and about plastic straws, but none of this matters if we do not have a sovereign nation. The economy does not matter if the nation is socially forced to its knees. These slimy politicians distract you from the truth of this demographic-induced globalist downfall by focusing on useless, stupid talking points that will not matter if our country is overrun by the leftist mob. They care about pandering to this leftist mob so they can sit comfy in their fancy house with their fancy car in their fancy suits as they look down upon us. They care about their paycheck, and that is it. What about your future? What about your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren? What about everything that our ancestors have built on these great lands? The politicians that sit in Parliament behind me do not give a fuck about Canada or its people. They expect us to sit back and do nothing as they throw it all away for their selfish personal gain. The fake mainstream media is complicit as they push race-baiting headlines in false narratives. <laughs> now, I would like to take this moment to acknowledge that the media was barely here today. Did anybody see CBC or CTV? No, no, of course not, because they are fake news. They won't show this. They won't post the truth online or talk about the truth on the evening news. They do not want people to be informed. They are the enemy. The journalists that peddle this globalist nonsense are the enemy of the people. They are the enemy. They deceive, they lie, and they force Canadians that, that do not know any better against one another. They conjure up fake stories that paint conservatives and right-wingers as the villains, when in reality, we are the heroes. It is us, the true conservatives, nationalists, and patriots that are against the forces of pure globalist evil. Real Canadians are on our side. The truth is on our side. We have God on our side. We are righteous. We will prevail. We will restore Canada to its former prosperity. We will preserve our culture and our nation. We will put Canada first. We will make Canada great again. Thank you to Mark Friesen and everybody who helped put on this fantastic event. I believe that we have a couple more speakers here. And I just want to say that I'm honored to stand with all of you today. This moment will go down in history. Yeah. Happy Canada Day, and always remember that Canada comes first. Give it up for Tyler L. Russell, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes, campus conservative. They're trying to expel him, apparently. The mob, the mob but you can find him online as well.